and in this rock pool in front of me is an amazing fish. I believe this fish is protected and is quite rare down here in Devon. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another rock pooling video where today you find me at Wembury Beach near Plymouth where I end up finding a giant fish in a rock pool as well as so much more. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video to see everything I found and if you go on to enjoy this video remember to leave a like and subscribe to keep up to date with all of my new videos in the future. But for now let me show you what I found in these amazing rock pools. Wembury is one of the best spots for rock pooling in the whole of the UK. The rock pools here are teeming with life, such as limpets, sea anemones, crabs and starfish. This area also happens to be a marine protected area, which were established to help protect important, rare or threatened habitats and species. My first find of the day was a juvenile common shore crab standing on top of a beadlet anemone. Here is another beadlet anemone that I found nearby, but this one had its tentacles retracted as it was out of the water. Wembury has plenty of caves and crevices for creatures to hide in, including this edible crab that I found here. Here is one of my favourite species to find at Wembury, a common brittle star. Their colour variations and patterns are incredible, and they're much bigger than the dwarf brittle stars that are abundant on my local beaches. Turning over rocks is one of the best ways to find sea creatures while rock pooling. Here you can see brittle stars, sea urchins, star ascidian sea squirts and crabs all living under the same rock. Wembury is dominated by these furrowed crabs, which also have amazing colorations that range from a dull brown to brighter colors like red, blue, and even purple. Here you can see a cushioned starfish using its tube feet to traverse the rocky substrate of a rock pool. This cushioned starfish is using its tube feet to move around a piece of seaweed, and in this clip you can actually see its tube feet moving. The tube feet are also used as a tool to help the starfish feed. Here is a large snake locked anemone, swaying in the current of the incoming tide. Wow. 
Right guys, I'm down here at Wembury for some rock pooling and in this rock pool in front of me is an amazing fish. I believe this fish is protected and is quite rare down here in Devon. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch over to the Olympus and get some amazing footage of this fish. This huge fish that I managed to find is known as the giant goby and is one of the UK's rarest marine species. This titan of the rocky shore is Britain's largest goby species, identified by its large head, chunky body and a salt and pepper coloration. Very little is known about their behaviour, as they spend most of their time hiding in crevices in deep pools. The giant goby is protected under the Wildlife and Countryside Act of 1981, making it a criminal offence to harm individuals or damage their habitats. I wanted to make sure I got a good amount of footage of this awesome fish, as I probably won't see one in person again for a very long time. I certainly didn't expect to find a St Piran's hermit crab while rock pooling here, as I originally thought they were only found on the Cornish coasts, but seeing as Wembury is a marine protected area, it made sense that there would be a healthy population of them here. This is yet another rare species that disappeared from our shores in the 1980s, but was rediscovered in recent years at various sites around Cornwall and South Devon. Many of the rock pools at Wembury were dominated by this brown tuning forkweed, a species of seaweed that is only found on the south and west coasts of England. This is one of the biggest shannies I've found in a very long time, as I mainly found juvenile ones throughout the summer months, but this one was really calm and let me film it without it moving. Another common species of seaweed found at Wembury is thongweed, also known as sea spaghetti. This is commonly found on the lower shore, often amongst kelp. The tide was coming in fairly quickly at this point, so I decided to retreat to the upper shore to see what I could find. Okay. 
I managed to come across this solitary volcano barnacle that was feeding, which is absolutely fascinating to watch. Wembury also has an abundance of this invasive wireweed, which arrived on our shores from Asia many years ago. Species like barnacles, limpets and many other species of sea snails have had to adapt to be able to survive the long periods of exposure on the upper shore. This is why you often see them in abundance on this area of a beach. This is possibly the smallest flat periwinkle I've ever seen. I had to zoom in extremely close to be able to see it. The upper shore pools contain loads of small common prawns that were darting in and out of the seaweed. I also managed to find this small goby in a rock pool. I think this is a sand goby, but I'm not 100% sure, but it was still a cool find. I do hope you enjoyed watching all of the amazing sea creatures that I managed to find in this video and make sure to let me know your favourite species from the video in the comments below. If you did enjoy the video remember to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.